Hello everyone. So this is the video tutorial on Google Classroom. In this, we will be just covering the basics of Google Classroom and giving you an orientation. Uh, there are many features of Google Classroom uh, for longitudinal learning assessment, but that we'll be covering later on in our next workshop and next tutorial session. Let us uh, get an idea about Google Classroom. Google Classroom is basically a repository where there is a teacher or a group of teachers can be there in that online space and students also are there on that online space. And you can go on collecting various uh, feedback from them as you can uh, assess the students uh, after some point of time and then have that record in that uh, online digital space. Uh, you can also uh, share the resource materials with the students on that. You can conduct online meetings with the students. So it's a good platform to have an online classroom kind of thing. So how to start using it? So on the top right, you have got these nine dots. So you click on this and you have various options here. And here one of the apps that you see is classroom so here it is classroom so you can click on this classroom so through my uh, this is on my khan amir maruf at gmail.com account i'm using this account because uh, i had created uh, this classroom so i can show you an example also in my uh, ucms.ac.in account I have not yet created any Google Classroom, so that will not help in the demo. So these are some of the classrooms that I had created. And you can create new classrooms, how to create new classrooms. Um, on the top right, you have this plus sign, create or join a class. So once you click it, you can create a class or join a class. So for students, when they log into classroom, they can join a class. They will not create a class, they will join a class. Let us see how it will look like if, the, if I'm a student and I want to join some class. I click on it. It asks for a class code. So every student will have to put in a class code. So that class code is specific for that particular class. Okay. So right now, I'll tell you from where a teacher can give the class code. Okay, this is, and I, if I'm a teacher, so I'll be clicking the create class. So if I create classroom, then one classroom will be created. Here you see, there are many, the three classrooms here, then three classrooms here. Let me create a class here. So using classroom at a school, I have read and accept the terms and conditions. I continue. I need to give a class name. I give a trial classroom demo online by MEO subject digital workshop room online space I go create so that's all I create a Google classroom here Okay. Now I want students to join this classroom. So how will they join it? Uh, they have. I'll have to share a class code with them. And you see here, this is the class code on the left side. This is the class code. So I copy it and share it in their WhatsApp group. They can type this H three two five seven H five, and they will be able to join this classroom. Okay. How will it? So uh, what? options does it have though on the top you have the four tabs here one is stream a stream is basically it will have all the things that you have done if you share some resources if you share a feedback form if you share an assessment form something quiz so all these things will be there uh, time uh, in a chronological order it will be you can also chat here in this if you want to uh, put something you can, students also can type something they want they can discuss here so it's like a chat feature and also it will go on showing you what all activities have been done at what time. 
Next is classwork. You can create a classwork. When you create a classwork, you have various options. You can create an assignment. You can create a quiz. You can create, uh, give some questions, just random questions, whatever you want. And then you can share some resources in this section material. Then the, you can reuse also some, suppose you have used a quiz earlier, now you want to reuse it by changing something in that. Uh, then you can reuse that quiz by changing some, edit it and use it again. So there are various uh, things here. Uh, one by one we'll see. So assignment. Now let us look at the next tab. So this is classwork. Next is people. In this, you are seeing teachers only. I am here right now. Students are not here right now. So once they join, they will be listed here. And then grades. So which student has got which grades, they will be shown here. So our work basically starts from classwork. Okay. We can create an, an assignment. Suppose, uh, first I'll say how to share the resources with the students. So I click on material. I can say uh, lecture PowerPoint on methods of health. I want to share a PowerPoint with all of them. So this lecture was uh, taken on, suppose, 8 November 2000. It will be taken on this. Tomorrow I have to take a lecture. I want to share it today. I can click on upload and I can upload uh, from, uh, I can browse my computer and I and I can upload uh, from my computer or I can upload from my drive, Google Drive also. So I can upload it here. I can create some Google Docs here or PowerPoint directly. I can create it here and share or I can upload a YouTube video here I can click on some, I can share some link, some web, some suppose some WHO link is there. I can share that also here. So they will get to know. And uh, so uh, that's all you can share the resources in this way. And on the right side is the other control panel. Like you have to share it with all the students. Now at present, uh, there are, uh, if there's a list of students, you'll see all the list of students here. And you can share it with a few if you want. If you don't want to share it with someone, you can share it with a person who is a moderating a seminar or something. You can do this. You can assign a topic like uh, create a topic. So whenever you create something, you can uh, categorize it into topics. For example, I categorize as uh, resource materials to download. Another category, I put it as assessment. Another category, I put it as feedback. So I can create a topic, I can uh, write a topic that this is resources to download. Okay. And I can click on post. So this is the resources to download. I have given the name of the section. Similarly, I can create uh, another, suppose I want to give them a feedback form so how to do that so i can create a feedback form and uh, here i can create i click here so it is saying creating google form now this google form is being created i'll just write here that uh, feedback form and need to fill by 15th november 2022 and points, I don't have any points uh, for this. Feedback form is ungraded. I'll click on ungraded. Share it with all the students. That is fine. And you can give a due date here also if you want. I can give a due date. After that, they can't use it. And I, I don't have... So one topic I had created, resources to download. This particular thing is not resources to download. I can create a new topic. So I'll say feedback forms. So this is a new topic that is being created. Okay, so let us go to the feedback form. Our feedback form is here. I have to create this. So feedback form trial from MU. Okay, so you can create a feedback form and uh, you can ask questions. Rate the lectures on a five point scale right and now you know that one is for suppose 
very poor very good and so on so it's a mandatory question i can ask the students to add one i can add one more question uh, your name and i can add it can add roll number and so on batch whatever you want so that's also uh, this feedback form has been created i don't need to send or something like that because uh, it is created here only so, and i assign once i assign it will be so there are no students right now so it will not be assigned to anybody but yes it will be created and so feedback form is here okay so it is under the section feedback form if i create more form in this topic all the topics you know earlier there were no topics here now feedback form resources to download all topics so it will display all just a second with the phone calling in So here it is, all the topics are here and class work. So class work is basically where we work and we share it with the student, we assign it and then your teachers, students, you can add more teachers if you want. If you want, I want to add from MU, I can add. So suppose I add here. So I add phone adding. So I will have to send an invite to them. And they will join whenever they will access it. So this is classroom and now let me show you an already created classroom. Um, so let us go back. Uh, the other classroom that is there, 2022 May, yes, family study batch. So there was a batch of uh, students who came to the department and there was a family study posting going on. In that, uh, I created this classroom. So you see how the first tab that is Steam looks like. So these are all the things. The first thing that I did was on 8th May, I posted a teaching schedule here. So if I click here, it will take me to this. So this was the posting schedule. So we'll click on it, the posting schedule. Then after that, on day one, I posted a feedback. So day one ka feedback, because it, the time is up. So now it is showing 11. I had shared it with 30 students and 11 submitted. So 11 turned in. Missing ones are also seen here. It is ungraded because there was feedback. I don't, we don't have to give grades here. So all the things that uh, happened in this class, uh, it was here, okay? So these are all the things. And uh, another resident posted, Dr. Akansha posted something related to uh, family planning, then I'm an CHR booklet, then environmental assessment, so the residents also were, uh, I had added them in teachers here and they went on posting certain resource materials. So if I go to classwork, what are the things that we created? So there were many resources to download. We went on adding like clinic, ARI, family planning, environment assessment, day one presentation slides, teaching schedule. So these are the resources which we wanted the students to go through. And they have access to these things even now. So the best part about using online Google Classroom thing is that you can have all these things, you can add the students and they can access it later whenever they want. Till the time you delete the classroom or you remove those students, you can uh, they can access. Then feedback forms, we had four feedback forms. So all the feedback forms are here. And even I can look at these feedback forms even uh, many months or years later 
then some snapshots. So resources to download, if I click on the left, it will show all the resources that I had given here for downloading. If I click on uh, feedback, I have these feedback forms are here out of 37, only four returned out of eight, um, this 18 assigned, uh, 23 turned in, I click here, I see 18 have, uh, 23 have returned 18 still missing out there. So they were assigned, not turned in. So feedback are there, then snapshots, some clicks. So these are the things that are there. Then people, if I go to the other tab, people, these are the teachers, myself and uh, residents are here, one senior resident, one junior resident. And then students, all the students are here in this. So 41 students are here. So if I want to share it, uh, invite the students, I can even have this, I can copy the link and share it to the students. But the best way I found uh, is that you need to, you share the class code with them. So what we did was we created a WhatsApp group but the first day they came to us. And in that class uh, WhatsApp group, we shared this code. And we said you join by Google Classroom and then we started sharing materials, feedback form and we started telling them on WhatsApp, you go and fill it. So that is how it uh, worked. Classwork, then people. And I can change the status. Suppose if I want to, uh, you can remove any person, you can make class owner. And uh, if I want to uh, change uh, the uh, email a student, I want to remove a student, I want to mute if some student is creating disturbance to posting a lot of unwanted stuff or something I can mute. So these are uh, various uh, options and I have no grades here because I didn't assess them uh, because feedback form was all ungraded. They filled four feedback form, all were ungraded. So, but if I have, if I make a feedback form in the form of a quiz, like we have seen in the earlier tutorial, then the, and the automatic scoring will be there. Then for all the students, there will be uh, scoring will be av available. The first two are residents. I think uh, I added some residents as students because we wanted the res those residents to have an idea about how it looks like for the student. So they were added as students only to give that orientation. And if somebody has done after the due date, it mentions done late also. And most of them don't fill feedback form well in time. Fine. So this is how our Google Classroom works. You can create lots of uh, classrooms as much as you want. And start archiving it so that later on, if you have to find out, you can have the attendance sheet also in this if you want. So everything and all these things are stored in your Google Drive only. So you can access it from here or you can access it from Google Drive, but I would suggest access it from here only. Uh, don't get confused uh, in the initial stages. Later on, as you become expert in using all these things, then only you try uh, different ways of accessing and all. Okay. So that's all for the time being. I hope uh, you will uh, try to use it. Thank you very much.